This really hurt. My little Jacob got one as well. What is that shit on your legs? I don't oh, get it. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a new chain. Yeah, I added. I stole it from a 13 year old. Just hopped in the car, drove 10 hours from Mount Vernon to Dallas, slept, woke up, trained, smashed out another three hour, three and a half hour ride. All right, I already lost the talking ticket. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, hell yeah. I feel like I'm in a fucking palace. My guy's the best guy I've probably have ever gone against in a super fight. Everyone tells me he's really good, so I'm excited to see if he kicks the shit out of me or if I do good. <laughs> and then if you win, you're ranked, right? Is that how that works? <laughs> Fuck, that's all I had to do the whole time? <laughs> okay. Do you have a show your old tattoo? I'll pay you to fight my tattoo. <laughs> this really hurt. Worst place to get your first tattoo, and I do not recommend it. I got a mullet, a tattoo, and I went Hogan in the same week. It was a rough week. And the zipper actually doesn't work, so that's why I kind of got my shit draped over it, but I put this fit together. Why you got on Nike socks with a Adidas shoe? Because they were free. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jacob Borman, the plan for Jacob's match is he's going to slam the guy. Hard. And then he's going to slam him again. Really hard. Slam him the hardest. <laughs> the third time, and then the guy's just going to tap. Tap from Slam, first time in fight to win history. He's gonna go out there, Slam City. That's it, that's the goal. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, he doesn't get his ass kicked. <laughs> Little Jacob. Yes, sir. One of three Jacobs living at Pedagosa Mission Fighting. Yep. At what point did you move into the gym? How old were you when you first started? I was 15 and I met these guys, and then, long story short, somehow I managed to train with them and then Heath offered me to stay with them and I tried it out for three months and it was miserable so I moved away and then uh, I came back and I lived with him for a whole year and then now I'm here. Look what happened to my boy. Show him. Tell him what happened. Right, I started riding bulls because I thought that's what I wanted to do and then I fucking blew my shoulder out and broke my nose and shit my tooth. If you had to say one thing to someone that did you wrong Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. I mean, you literally sort of grew up around these guys, huh? Yeah, this is all I know, really. <laughs> but this is my first fight to win. I feel good. I mean, I know I train hard, so I feel like whatever I can do, I give it my all every time, so whatever happens, happens. Spatch actually texted me. He was like, yo, you doing okay? And I was like, yeah, you know, I just got the little nervous from fight to win or whatever. And he was like, Bro, don't worry about it. There won't be a lot of people. It's a super small venue, and I walk in, and I'm like, yeah, it's small. That's why I'm nervous more than anything, you know? <laughs> what about that one? Yeah, what is that shit on your legs? I noticed that. Oh, God. Yeah. No, what's the other side? What's the other side? I, I saw fuck you, but what's this one? What is All this my bitches point? got dank pussy. <laughs> <laughs> About to go check in. To the, well, we're gonna watch Andrew try to check into the room. I think this is his first room in his own name. We'll see how that goes. I think I just go up there, right? I'm not 100%. <laughs> Normally, I would go to a real adult in the group and be like, "Hey, how do I? What do we do?" You know, because I'm, I'm not a real adult, not really. Well, you're a black belt now. Does that make you an adult? Fuck no. <laughs> Limit occupancies, four guests per hour. We'll see about Let's that. Let's go six. Come on, sissy. Bro, what if we get caught in this? Yeah, yeah. then we're fucked. We're dead. Yeah. You know the answer. What? You'll get on a below but not an elevator? What if we get caught in this? She drank 30 beers the other day. Yeah, yeah. but small spaces aren't mine. <laughs> you can ride a bull when you can't sit in an elevator. <laughs> Look at 
Where's it left hand? Look to W-I-L-T-S-E. Uh, looks like the, the room has already been paid for. I just need a credit card just for it to them. What? Uh, like a debit or credit card just for it to them. I, I don't have one of those. Uh, we do need to, we need to swipe something. Fuck up. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I fucked up immediately. <laughs> hey, they, they want a debit card for me. <laughs> hey, put it, put it on, put it on mine, but don't spend anything on it. Michael Sears is the fucking hero, man. He he came in and saved me. But now I'm gonna charge a bunch of stuff to his card. <laughs> I learned that you can't get anywhere in this world without a credit card. <laughs> I, I made it to 27. Without needing one, <laughs> so. What's the room? Uh, you sure it's eighteen twenty-five? Andrew? Andrew, where's the that saying there? Eighteen fifty-nine. Okay. <laughs> 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 Success. I'll go for you now. Oh, we're allowed to go down there? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Look, at, look at the chairs that are in the pool. This thing's bad ass. Bro, that's what I'm talking oh, about. What's happening? Oh, I'm going to wear my chains in the pool. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Jesus, mercy. What's, what's the plan here? We got two Does beds and one guy. Oh, shit. We're straight. We got two beds and all this floor. We could fit five more motherfuckers in here. Easy. It's only eight people. You want to rent one of them scooters and drive them around? Do we put cash in it? No, you put your card on it, you can drive it anywhere. I don't have a credit card. I got one. I ain't got no money on it, but I got one. <laughs> this is too fancy for me. I'd have to sell my car to get a hotel room here, you know? Ah, it makes me feel uncomfortable. If you move them, they're like censored. Is that why there's that yeah, cord there? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> um, Bro, no way. Pellegrino. Oh, they got coke. They got, man, they got coke down there. Do you want one? $37 right there. You ever seen water in a box before? Once or twice in the movies. Oh, yeah. Michael. Did they charge you for taking that out? Where you at? No, they charge Michael Sears for taking yeah. <laughs> They'll probably fit in in Austin with those. those. No. <laughs> Especially cows. Hell yeah, brother. He looks like the Austin. He's got the Austin look. There he is. You just need a beard. I can't grow no facial hair. Don't talk Let's see your facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> what? You like my hat? What do you think, Coachy? You look fucking great, bro. I told you that makes you look like an Aussie for oh, real. I know, I know. I think I, I got you look like a, you look like a Irwin. Hey, I don't want to be like him. You know, you got killed. So <laughs> I just gotta stay away from speed right You look like your son, dude. <laughs> I value rationality extremely highly. Okay, I like to think critically, I like to think logically, and I try to apply that to a lot of different things, like my jiu-jitsu, I wanted to be optimal. So, it wasn't until I found this story, my favorite story book, piece of fiction of all time. It, it's the book that made me who I am today, basically. It's it's uh, 1.2 million words. It's called Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality. It's a uh, fan fiction. Oh yeah, it's Peruvian. I was hogging. Uh, since I can't train, I figured I'd do something else just as dangerous. You stick your hands in their mouth, and it's like um, sandpaper around like their mouth, and it like just cuts your whole hand. But you just gotta try to hold on because they bite you quick. Yeah, that's what I'm doing since I'm not training jujitsu at the moment because <laughs> of my injury. So. <laughs> Uh, welcome to my crib. This is it. It's disgusting right now, um, but it wasn't like this. Uh, it actually was like this the whole time, I'm going to admit. <laughs> hey. It's much nicer in here. The carpet's good to sleep on and stuff. It's soft. Me and Joe slept here. And little Jake and he slept there. Andrew, right where you're standing. Michelle next to that. George, George over there in the corner. And then Spatchy right here. So the two lattice snores are Jacob Borneman, then probably Alejandro is probably the second lattice really? snore. Snor? Fuck yeah, you do. I snore for real. How bad is it? Is it bad? 
So flow grappling and flow wrestling have been, harassing is not the quite the right term, but they've been persistently trying to get Panda Express's attention. And I think it's finally paid off. Panda Express made a comment. They said, good luck tonight, Andrew Wilty. We'd love to send you a gift to show our support. DM us so we can set it up. This is literally Panda Express commenting on this. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Have you considered the somebody from Panda Express might watch your match tonight? I hadn't. Oh man. Now I'm nervous. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> I'm gonna go really hard. <laughs> you, uh, if Panda was gonna, uh, gonna sponsor you, would you uh, rock out Panda Express logo on your heat? Hell yeah. Badass. Okay, right? I, I hope Show Your World does a collaboration with Panda Express. <laughs> like, I hope that happens. <laughs> Oh man, last night we were in the pool, in the hot tub and stuff, and we started play, getting a little rambunctious. Uh, we, we did this thing where the one guy's gonna hold the one guy from behind, and you see, you see who can get away the fastest, and everyone did it. And we were holding on to each other and seeing if we could like flail out and get oh. out. So all the Brazilians were like, oh my god, these guys are exactly like we imagined. <laughs> and then they were just all staring at us when we were like wrestling in the pool, and I know they were saying some shit. Yeah, I think the guys actually got kicked out of a donut place last night. I was like, what's, what's wrong, what they do? And she's like, there's all a bunch of drunk idiots. And I was like, we just ate a pizza. I said, We're I said as fuck. they're not. With, they're not drunk. They're with me. We just got done eating a whole pizza, and now we want some dessert. Yeah. Do something. Little Jacob came over and he started humping me. Yeah. But it was before that. She walked over yeah. the back way before that. It was stupid. She's like, "There's so many reasons you guys have to get out of here right now." Fuck her. Fuck those donuts. They told you the ammo. They told Andrew's so distracted now, thinking about orange chicken. He's just roaming around the room, doesn't know what to do with himself. Today I'm responding to your post to DM you guys. Responding to your post to DM you guys, I might literally be your biggest fan. Now we wait. see something good, no matter how nervous he is, when he gets out there, he fucking competes good, so don't even worry. Little Jacob's coming out party, it's like a little baby rattlesnake that can't control his venom, you know what I mean? He's just ready to kill all the time, so I'm pretty excited. Ready out in the blue corner from Mount Vernon, Illinois, making his fight to win debut, representing Pedigo Submission Fighting, Jacob Horman. Down. Heavy on the head, heavy on the head. If you're cutting, you're cutting hard. Cutting, cutting hard. Take him off the head to his dick, mate. It'll make the tight show. Here we go. Nice, good, good. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, almost, baby, almost again. Again. Nice. Oh,
good. He's got to open it up. As soon as he does, we're back stepping on it. It's really tight. Good, good, good. Hey, that's a dose. That's a dose. That's it. Put it in. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Hey, give me this good. There you go. That's it. Okay, that's tight. It's tight. Hey, hey, look. Relax. Breathe, breathe. Give me good pressure. It's really tight. Do it. All the way up. Slam that motherfucker. Good. Again, again. Your winner, out of the blue corner, Jacob Waterman. Good job, man. Good, Good stuff. I'm proud of you, bud. You're good. And I know not to be so fucking nervous. You don't need to be, dude. You get the fuck out of that guy. What are you going to do the rest of the night now? <laughs> Party. I'm staying in Texas for four right now. Yeah. yeah, I passed him about six times. I should have finished every single one. I had him in a darts, tight, but I get real nervous. And I didn't want to drain all my energy, so I hurried up, let go, and came back up and scrambled with him. I wish I could have done better, but that's the thing about going out there and competing. It makes you better for your next competition or my next fight to win. Now I know that I can rely on more stuff and be more comfortable out there and do me. I can't wait. I'm going to train harder, see where it takes me. As a white belt, he went and he won the pans and he won the worlds. And, you know, he, he has a college level wrestling ability. He's never wrestled a day in his life just from the hard work that he's put in. And it feels like, you know, he's just kind of growing up at the gym. So I've watched him mature, you know, as a young adult. And, uh, you know, it's been pretty incredible watching him do that. At 15, I didn't really know why I was doing it. You know, they were telling me all the benefits and stuff, but you know, I'm a 15 year old kid, so I, I, I wasn't really like listening. I was just doing it because it was fun. And then stuff like this right here, it reminds me what they told me in the past is coming true. If I just follow and listen to them, good things will come out of it. I'm glad Fight to Win like slamming because that's what's exciting to me is getting crazy, doing crazy things, slamming people on their neck. That's fun. He's like a little miniature honey badger, man. He's like just always out for blood and goes hard. He's just a go-getter. I mean, look, I think that he has all the makings of what someone needs to be like the UFC champion. He's tough. He's meaner than fuck. He's just got that grind, that like Brands Brothers mentality. You know, they just got tough Midwest uh, ass kicker mentality. If his heart can match the rest of his physical abilities, the sky's the limit for that guy. What's going on here? It's a little walkout magic. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Do you have the do you have the thing? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> white belt. He's a white belt. Oh please, yes, yes, please. <laughs> I know, I didn't think about it until now. George said it was the nicest robe he ever felt, so he just couldn't even take it off. You might recognize this from the Fairmont. It's like Iowa Hawkeye shit. <laughs> Let's go, George Davis. Undefeated. Undefeated. Honey, I dance straight to the cash. You know I run it up. Did in the pack, started in the last. You cannot run with us. I get the bad, look at the mad. I never phone with you. I'm on the ass, look at the stats, putting them numbers up. I'm running up. Good, head up, head up. Nice, nice, nice. We can keep that pace. Stay heavy on that head. Hey, 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 that's there, Georgie. Be patient. Nice, just get it under. Good, good, good. All right, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. All the way, all the way, that's it. All day, head down, head down, post on the head, post on the head, post on the head. Good, man. I felt dominant. We've been doing a lot more wrestling, so I was trying to get out there and get comfortable wrestling. So then, like a minute in, I think I heard Andrew say pull guard and just get right to it. So I pulled, got into my leg locks, and then went to work. You know, I'm, I'm prone to depression, and I just get into my thoughts. But thankfully, Seth is able to put these shows on. It gives us something to get ready for. It gives and keep me healthy. You know, every month I know, okay, I gotta get ready for this, get ready for that. So it just keeps me on track. You had said before it, feel like you're deployed with these guys. You just gotta feel like you're rolling out, like you guys like the Navy SEAL. Yeah, that's what that's what it feels like, man. It's like you go, you're home, you pack up all your battle gear, you fucking get ready to go, go out on a mission, you know, go out there and kill, come back home, and just do it again.
You ready for this? Yeah. Hey, do the thing you do. I want to do that do thing. The, hey, do this thing. When you jump stab. I'm good at that. I'm going to hit him with this one right here. <laughs> ah, edit that. Edit that one. Okay, no more. No more. And we're just racking them up. That's all we're doing, just racking them up. Remember, when we're in here, remember, you can almost do like the arm drag. You can slide yourself under like I can pull you up and yes. over. Man, fuck this. You know what to do. Why are we talking about this bullshit? Good, back step, big back step, big back step. Peel it and step, peel it and step, peel it and step. Good, knee lines out, chase it, chase it, chase it. Good, good. Heavier pressure, heavier pressure. Keep your frame. Come all the way up. Up, 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 up. Nice, nice. Pass it off this, pass it off this. Let's go, Joe. 45 seconds, champ. We need points, buddy. We need points, champ. Let's go. Get your right hand through. Right hand through. Nice. It's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Let's go. Hey, we might be down on points. Let's go. Hey, hey go after it. Go after it. We need a submission. Right now. As hard as you can. Go, do it back, do it back. You gotta attack him as well, Dro. You gotta that's it, that's it, that's it. Hook it, that's it, that's it. You got it, you got it. We need a submission attempt. Do it, let's go. Hey! Hey! You gotta give us something here, Dro. 10 seconds. Get a cap up. Go for the hook fight, right there. I would have liked to control the submission attacks a little bit more. I was concerned about the rule set and chasing the submission, so I caught myself hesitating a couple times. Um, instead of just passing, I was thinking more about dropping on leg locks and stuff like that. So uh, I just got to get more familiar with this type of style and know when to just pass and try and get to my stuff. So your team, I mean, is rolling again. We're on fire, man. Everyone's riding the wave. The, the, our, our room right now is just so freaking dangerous. Good, heavy on the tricep, heavy on the tricep. Nice, nice, nice. All right, this is it. Hey, Uma Plata, Uma Plata. Good, good. Here we go, there we go, buddy. Just keep it up, keep it up. There we go, get down, get down. Almost there, we're almost there. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Give me them underhooks, open them elbows up. Hey, we're just leg pummeling here, leg pummeling. Nice, nice, nice. Give me heavy, give me about 20 seconds there, heavy. Good, keep that. Good, good. Pressure. Head and arm, nice, nice. That's tight, baby, that's tight. Hips down. Hey! 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 Your winner, my head and arm show, Jacob Couch. Who are you kissing? Myself. Why are you kissing yourself? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I do, that. I finish people. I don't go out there and fuck around. All day. Yeah, all day. All baby. day, baby. All, all day. day. All day. Six one eight. First off, you put the biscuits and gravy on it. I did. I did. I gave it. I gave them the the nationwide tour. I took it from Dallas to Austin, and hopefully, I can take it to wherever fight the wind goes next. I, I, I just feel really confident on the mat. Anybody that comes to their knees with me, I know why they're doing it. They're doing it because of the leg lock threat, but. I feel like people who see people with the leg lock threat automatically assume they don't have any other aspect of the jiu-jitsu. I just beat him up really bad.
legs. I got straight to it, swept him. As soon as I got on top, I knew he wasn't gonna be able to get me off. I was too heavy. I just out positioned him and out grappled him. Ended up finishing with an arm triangle. The trailer I grew up in, I could touch the walls by just spreading my arms. My head was almost hitting the ceiling. The floors always kind of had like dents in them. So you'd walk and you'd have to like watch your step because you step too hard in the wrong place, you're gonna step to the fucking ground. I knew I didn't want to be there forever and I, I understood the misery it caused everyone else that kind of got sucked into the small town trap and I, I could see that from a very young age, around 12 or 13, I could see that I wanted out. Now I get to travel to Austin and Dallas and LA and New York. Hopefully soon when all this stuff passes over, you know, out of the country maybe that would be, that would be something to die for. It's so, so surreal. Like, I remember just sitting there, like, literally staring at the mountainside, like, wondering what I was going to do with my life and not really knowing and winning matches and training as hard as I do and putting it all out there on the line every day with my teammates and my, and my friends. That really gives me a sense of direction. And I feel very lucky to be the fortunate one to break the cycle. Andrew Wiltsey. Who's Andrew going against? John Combs. That's right, John Combs, the guillotine machine. He's an ADCC trials winner. He's an ADCC vet. You know, he's got good wrestling. You know, he's got really good guillotines. Like I said, he's probably one of the best guys I've ever done a super fight with. And so now I get to really see, okay, how good am I actually? No panda for Andrew Wiltsey. <laughs> This guy is officially between me and Panda Express right now. What does that mean to you? He might be better than me, but I don't think he's gonna win. <laughs> this is really important, man. Fighting out of the blue order from Al Bernie Delano. The fight to win record of one win and no loss. Representing Pentagon Submission Fighting, defense are Andrew Wilson. Non-stop action in this matchup. Both guys don't know how to slow down. Hey, remember what we talked about. Remember what we talked about. Give me those points. Give me those points. Wilson looking very comfortable on bottom, though. Johnson's been having a hard time elevating Andrew's hips off the mat. Whoa. Nice sweep from Andrew. Driver's seat. Congratulations on scoring zero points, Andrew. Underneath, underneath. What we talked about. We'll pluck, we'll pluck. Yes, yes, that's it, that's it. Drag it, Fuck that far away. Bullshit. Far, far, far away. away. Andrew's guard retention's looking really nice right now. All right, now let's go. Keep moving. Give me something. Give me something. We ain't trying not to lose. We're trying to win. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Andrew, look at me. Andrew, Andrew let's go, baby. Let's go. It's your shit, let's go! Andrew, the virtue of his biggest win as a black belt ever. Head down. Hey, that's points coming, baby. That's points coming. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! You're the fucking champ, Andrew. One minute 40, Good buddy. Job. Let's go! John Cole! Attack! 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 John hasn't stopped moving, but he hasn't made a lot of progress towards any kind of pass. Let's go! Let's go! Give me 10! Count down for 10! Count down for 10! On 15 seconds now! 15!
by Andrew all day. Maybe only submission it took the whole thing was by Wilson. That's unanimous, baby. Let's go. Referees, raise your flag. Young man, out of the one corner, Andrew Wilson. Perhaps the dawn of a new emerging talent here at Black Belt, Andrew Wilson, living up to the hype. That's the shit boy right there. I can beat him that easy, I can beat anyone. I've been told you, man, I've been told you. That was good pressure too, the whole time, good. Not even close. No, it wasn't very close. Good, good shit, good. buddy, good shit. Incredible, yeah. he's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was tired as fuck. Dude, you fucking did amazing. Your leg look entry scared him too, man. Fuck yeah, bro. Oh, shit, you baby, let's go. Hey. Congrats, bro. It's gonna be like 120 for gas. Which way? Yeah, uh, no, one way. You're gonna build another house with that. Thank you so much. You forgot that you got paid to compete? I didn't know to be Hey, let me What's happening right now? Yeah, and then it goes, your next match doubles. Oh. So next is five and five. Oh, hang on. And then if you he's win available. that, he's available next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's done. He's paid his dues. He don't pay compete for free anymore. Hey, you're gonna, gonna be ranked top job. 15 in the world. Oh the shit, fuck. fuck. As far as I knew, I wasn't getting paid. And then Seth started throwing money at me. And I, was, I tried to tell him no, and then he told me to shut up. <laughs> so they gave me a check for $500, and he paid for the gas here and back. For, for me, that's a lot of money. I can get 43 large orange chickens with that. He actually got his calculator out and did it with the tax and knew that he could get about 43 large orders of uh, orange chicken. I feel like everyone looks at me like I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> I live in a shed. Now, before that, I lived inside the gym for fucking eight years. We don't have nice things. We don't need nice things. This is too nice. I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, this is obviously not the normal place that we would stay or probably ever stay, but listen, they're less out of place than they think, man. Their jujitsu is what matters, and uh, it definitely belongs here. So I guess I'm ranked now at Black Belt. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Uh, he was really good. I liked being at a much lighter weight. I was, I was massively stronger than him. I like the fact that and no one except for Gordon Ryan has any fucking clue how to pass no gi. And me, I'm okay sometimes, but it's, it's pretty fortunate. So he already had his debut, but that was the, the debut against somebody in the top 15 at Black Belt. I mean, that you know, now there's no more discussion now whether Andrew's the real deal or not. He just broke in. Andrew came away with a dominant performance. He mounted him, got on his back, had the only submission attempts in the match that were close. They couldn't have went much better, man. I thought he really showed, you know, that he's dominating and he's going to be around at Black Belt to make some huge waves. John Combs is an incredible guy. We were kind of bummed that the, the win had to come against someone that we like, you know, look up to, but that's just the way it goes, you know what I mean? So just line him up and Andrew will knock him down. That's just the way it is. At least now, you know, I know I can hang with black belts that have fought in the ADCC and if not one had success. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go win the ADCC and I might as well try, right? There's no reason for me not to try, right? Like all I can do is lose. The rest of the night was really great. You know, the team had a lot of success. It was just a complete domination. Winning's awesome, but watching my teammates win, it's, there's no better feeling than that. Because we know how hard we push each other. And I know how hard all my teammates work. So watching them succeed is the best, most gratifying feeling that you could ever imagine. If you're going through something, you know, if you got the nerves, whatever, you got five other people that are, you know, hyping you up. And after a while, it works, you know, they get inside your head and it's like, you know what, you're right, I am a beast, I, I am going to win no matter what. You feel unstoppable, having the mat side and them cheering, it like, gives you like a boost. It's like if you had a health bar in like Mortal Kombat, and then you had another health bar, and the other guy only has this health bar, you're obviously going to win. It's everything, man. One day we're going to win the IBJF team trophy, we're going to bring home a big fat ass check, because we all want it that bad together as a unit. What you got, any more questions for the team? PSF's here to stay, man. We're here to just kill shit. It's gonna keep getting better. Keep pushing out new champions, keep building stuff. So everybody look out. Daisy Fresh boys and girls, we're coming. Success and Panda Express, baby, all day. <laughs> hey!
Can I get a, a large entree of orange chicken? Dude, it's actually cheaper in Texas. Really? Yeah. How much cheaper? Uh, 46 cents. Because of COVID, you're not allowed to go inside anywhere right now, like Pan Express, any pan is. So they have um, plastic on the door and you order outside. They don't have any outside tables, so we're sitting on the concrete. But it doesn't matter. I would eat Pan Express hanging with one arm off of a skyscraper. It's just that good. How many states have you had Panda in? Five or six. Five or six. Not enough. That's a new life goal. Yes. What have I done? I've been in every state. Hey, Simone. Hey, what you got? I got me a Mountain Dew, and I got you this fancy bugs. doohickey right here. <laughs> Pretty scientific, actually. Spatchy explained to me the speed you pull the lever uh, dissipates different amounts of liquid. Use the word integral. Integral? Yeah, use that word. It's not. It's not gonna fit into a fucking yeah, slushy. Make it's, in, it's integral for the cup for it to be poured at that velocity. Anyways, I poured the shit in the cup. <laughs> Created God's work. Yeah, it's the Lord's. It's, it's the way the Lord wanted. The guy just uh, sent me a message. He said, "Hey, bro, your grappling is so fucking dope." You've also made me start eating Panda Express again. Keep kicking ass, boss. No one messaged me about Jiu Jitsu. They just messaged me about my anime intros and Panda Express. <laughs> no Jiu Jitsu messages. Uh, I just gotta I just meet John Combs. Hey, did you hey, meet John Combs? Can I get a picture? Hey, we need you. Sir, sir, we need your signature. It's gotta be John Combs. Oh, wait, hold on. Video? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be John Combs. That's Andrew Wilty in that car over there if you guys didn't know. Go ahead. Okay. Well, if I cut whatever's in here, I might cut myself. This is it. The Panda Express. He's shaking. You gotta cut his arm. Take his time. Hey! Dude, is this real life? Dude, hell yeah. <laughs> it replaces the drawer. <laughs> they sent you more because your girlfriend threw them out. Read it. Read it out loud. Congratulations on your recent victory and thank you for being such a big Panda fan. <laughs> the number eight is special to us as it symbolizes luck and prosperity. So we're sharing this goodwill with you with enclosed 88 fortune cookies and a gift card for $88. <laughs> we are fortunate to have a fan like you and we wish you all the best in everything you do. With warm regards, Panda. Nice, bro.